are you? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. If you're new, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well as the little bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. So today's video, I wanted to share with you guys how I have been studying and what I have been using in grad school. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I have been posting a lot about my new iPad Pro and how I've been using that since I've been in grad school. I have finally ditched the whole pen and paper situation. I have upgraded and I'm super excited. It has finally taken me long enough. Um, so this is basically what today's video is about. I want to go through and show you guys how I've been using my iPad Pro with the Notability app to download PowerPoints for school, how I've been using Notability, and just a couple features that I like about the iPad Pro that have really helped me in school. So just to show you guys, um, I have the 10 and a half inch iPad Pro. So just your standard iPad here, and it's just in one of these trifold cases. And I do have the Apple Pencil. So the Apple Pencil retails for $99. And this particular iPad Pro, I have the 64 gig, and it retails for, I believe, $649, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I have been using this now for a couple months. Like I said, I finally upgraded, ditched the whole pen and paper situation, and this has really allowed me to stay more organized. I feel like I've reduced a little bit of my carbon footprint because I am no longer printing out tons and tons of paper and PowerPoint slides. Um, I'm able, I feel like I'm able to stay way more organized. It is super convenient just to carry this around with me and be able to study on the go. And plus, because I am a pro Apple user, we all know how everything syncs to the iCloud. So I have my phone, my laptop, my iPad, like everything syncs together. So I feel like I'm always able to stay connected. So I just want to show you guys um, just an up close view of the iPad with the case and then the Apple Pencil with the little, um, and I have a little sleeve on here which allows my pencil to connect magnetically to my case so when I'm carrying it around. All of these accessories I purchased on Amazon and I will stick the link down below in the description bar if you're interested. So if you guys are interested in seeing the rest of this video, then please keep watching. Make sure you subscribe on your way out, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! So while we're here, guys, and we're talking about studying, I did want to share this little gadget with you guys. It is called Coffee Cookie. This little gadget is like a warming coaster. It fits any size cup, whether it's Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, your favorite coffee shop. Now this little warming coaster, once you turn it on here at the bottom, with a full charge, it is chargeable and portable, it will stay warm for about an hour. And it just fits right here in the bottom of your cup. And this is actually great for on the go, whether you're working in an office, of course, you know, being in the hospital, you know, going back and forth to the library for studying, which is what we're talking about in this video. This will actually keep your drink warm. And it works by conduction through the little hot plate here, which really does get warm, you guys. I'm not lying at all. Um, and then it just keeps your drink warm through the bottom of the cup there. And it works really, really well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you're interested, you can look down below in the description bar for their website, as well as a promo code um, that you can use for some money off. So definitely check this out if you guys are interested. But I want to share this in the video. All right, guys, so moving into the actual video now, I have logged into my school platform. I'm going to click on the module and we're going over the endocrine system. So I start by clicking on that particular module. I'm going to download the PowerPoint slides. So now that they've been downloaded, I'm going to open that up. And as you see, it opens here in PowerPoint. So what you want to do is click on File in the upper corner. You actually want to click Print instead of Save. And once that screen opens, 
you want to make sure down in the corner you set it to PDF format. That way you'll be able to write on it in Notability. And I like to change my slide layout to the three slides per page because that is the only option that will give you the lines on the side. Um, some people like other options. Some people like to change it to black and white, but I like to leave the three slides per page and I like to leave it in the color format. And then once again, make sure it's in PDF format, save that as a PDF, and then you can rename it if you would like. So I'm just going to rename it and I'm actually going to download it into three different sections. So I'm breaking it up because it's a rather long PowerPoint and I'm gonna rename each section um, because my lecture actually has the recordings broken down into three sections. And then I'm going to save this onto my desktop. So now I'm gonna open my browser, open a new tab and open my Google Drive. And once I have Google Drive open, I already have a folder specifically entitled Notability because um, I like to stay organized. So once I open that Notability folder, within that folder I already have subfolders created for every topic that we've gone over so far. So I'm going to create another new folder specifically for this lecture and it's going to be entitled Endocrine of course because this is what we're going over and this is one of the ways that I like to stay organized. So once I have that endocrine folder created, I'm going to double click on that and then I'm going to upload those PowerPoints within the endocrine folder. So this is the process of the file upload. Find it from the desktop where it was saved. I'm going to select all three of them and then I'm going to put them in the endocrine folder. Now, as you can see, within my Google Drive Notability folder, I created a subsequent endocrine folder and I've now uploaded all three of those PowerPoints. So now is the process that takes place on the iPad. All right, guys. So now that I have done everything on the computer side that I need to do as far as downloading the PowerPoints, getting them into Google Drive. Now we're gonna go over and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I get them on my PowerPoint, how I get them into Notability, and how I take notes and listen to my PowerPoints at the same time with Notability. So I've already synced my Apple Pencil and so we are going to start off by going into Notability. So it is in my grad school folder. We are gonna start off by clicking Notability. So once Notability is open, as you can see, I have a new, f I have a folder entitled Pharmacology. And then within the Pharmacology folder, there are multiple subjects for each of the topics that we've covered so far. So the very first thing I wanna do within Pharmacology is create a new subject for this chapter that we're gonna be going over. So we're gonna click the plus sign and then we're gonna click create a subject. So your main divider is like your big topic. It's like what your notebook would be called if you're carrying a main notebook to school. And within that notebook, you have like your subtopics. So we're gonna create a subject. So I know that this is going to be endocrine. So we're going to call this endocrine. We're gonna click done but I want endocrine to match the way all of these other ones look. So we're gonna click edit here in the corner. Click the little tool there. Just gonna go over here to color and I'm gonna select this light purple that I've been using. Hit close. So now we have an endocrine folder within the pharmacology subject folder. So now we're ready to input our files. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna import from Google Drive because remember that's where I uploaded them. And I uploaded them within the Notability folder and then I put them in the Endocrine folder here and there's all three of them already in PDF form. So I'm gonna go ahead and click all three of them and as you can see they're all getting ready to import within Notability. 
And just like that, they are in Notability and they are in PDF format so you can write on top of them with Notability and they're ready to use. And what I like about Notability is it does an automatic backup every couple seconds. So it's automatically backing up so if the app was to automatically close, I would not lose any of my information. So let's say I was ready to go ahead and listen to a lecture. I could just click on one of these. Um, so we're going to click on the thyroid and anti-thyroid. This is exactly how it would open up. And as you guys can see, here are the lines. So now if I was ready to listen to a lecture and take notes, I'm going to open up the dual screen. So we're going to go ahead and open up Safari on the other side of the page here. All right, so I've logged into my school. I'm going to go in and find the module that I want to listen to. And we're down here in week nine. So drugs affecting the endocrine system, I'm going to click on that. So our professor that's teaching this has already gotten them divided into three different PowerPoints here. Let's click on part one, oral and anti-diabetic agents. So we're going to click on that. It opens in the platform in which it was recorded. So I can make this side a little bit smaller so I'll, I will have more workspace on the side with the notes. And I realized I opened the wrong one here, guys, so give me just a second. And I'm going to go back and click on this one here, oral and anti-diabetic agents. So this is the one that she started with. So I would just hit play. And I am a pharmacist and certified diabetes educator working um, in a, an internal medicine and endocrinology practice. And so since I have a... a Okay, so we're going to skip past the intro, and let's say we were on this slide here, and she was doing some speaking, and I wanted to take notes. So I'm going to zoom in just so I have a little bit more workspace. Just, I'm going to turn it sideways just so I can show you guys. The pencil here offers you multiple colors to write with, and then multiple different styles of writing as well as the thickness of how you would want to write. So I always usually write in black and then I always highlight in yellow the important things and then I'll go through in red and make stars beside the extra important things. So I could just leave it in black, come over here and kind of pinch and zoom a little bit and then I could just write something So let's say she just said something really important here. Select my highlighter tool, highlight in yellow, something that was said really important, or maybe something on the slide that was really important that I wanted to keep track of. And then so it would also stand out to me that this was extra important or maybe she said some kind of key like keep an eye out for something similar to this on the exam or yada 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 then I would also leave myself a little star and then I would continue on this way basically throughout my whole lecture process as I take notes and so let's say I was looking for a particular slide that I wanted to reference but I couldn't remember where it was at let's say I had like 20 slides to go through I could click on the paper click on search and I could search for a keyword on the slide and then it would auto-populate every slide that referenced that word that you were searching. And then you could find that one particular slide that you may have been looking for. And it works for PDFs such as this with PowerPoints. And it also works if you were to just create a new page that was blank and you were taking your own notes. And then I also like the fact with Notability you can add figures, you can take photos and add them straight into the PowerPoint. Anything that helps you with your studying, you can go find a photo. Like if I had a photo in my album that wanted to reference, you know, endocrine, I could do that. I could go find a photo from the web, copy and paste it, and stick it right here within Notability. I'll show you guys that as well really quick. Let's go to images. And let's just say we're going to type something on endocrine system. Let's say we like this photo for whatever reason. 
hold it down with the pen, copy and paste it, and then we can situate it within Notability wherever we want it. And then, bam, there it is within your PowerPoint to constantly reference. If you make a mistake, you can always use the eraser tool and erase, or just hit the go back button. So this is how I take notes, you guys, using Notability. Um, basically pretty simple. I honestly have been enjoying it. Um, definitely has replaced my pen and paper format. And like I said, it's very easy to use, very user friendly. I love the fact that you can create tabs here along the side. If you're like me and you like to be very organized, I definitely would recommend it. It's very user friendly, very straight to the point without all the extra gizmos and gadgets. So I definitely highly recommend it. And yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how I incorporate my PowerPoints from school into Notability, how I stay organized, how I take notes using the iPad Pro. Yeah, this is it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!